Welcome to the Base Face Network. Good day everyone. My name is Stephen Carlbios reporting for Gender and School. Gender and School. As one of the most fundamental aspects of self, gender impacts everybody. All of us can point to a time in our lives when we were burdened by unfair limitation or expectation because of others' belief about our gender. Regardless of a student's age, gender impacts a, a child experience at school across grades as a primary socializing agent. School is the place where our children should be exploring ideas and discovering new skills. It's their passion simply based on, a, on others' perception of their gender. By sending a message that certain pursuits of limits simply because of person's gender, we lose access to an incredible source of human potential. Gender bias. Gender bias is a preference or prejudice toward one gender over the other. Bias can be conscious or unconscious, and many manifest in, in many ways, both subtle and obvious. It is the unequal treatment in employment and opportunity such as promotion, pay, benefits, privileges, and expectations due to attitude based on the sex of an employee or a group of employees. Gender bias is a behavior that shows favoritism toward one gender over the another. Most often gender bias is the, act, is the act of favoring men or boys over women or girls because there are strong gender role stereotypes for masculinity and femininity. Students who do not match then can encounter problems with their teachers and with their peers. Gender bias in school enrollments. Discrimination based on gender is one of the primary impediments to education, and it affects boys and girls. In some regions, boys' education, educational opportunities are limited by gender rules that force them to work rather to work rather than attend school. These financial responsibilities are often increased in boys' adolescence years, making it difficult in many parts of the world. Girls are most often the victims of gender discrimination as they pursue an education. Education is the only key to bring gender equality. Increase in Literary rate should bring equality based on gender by in society. Gender especially is not achieved yet. Achieved up to the expected level. Today, our girls and boys remain the victims of gender stereotype in text and, and resource materials. There are also victims of unintended or sexist behavior by educator, educators. Often, teachers reflect varied expectations for children based on students' gender, class, race, and ethnicity. Most teachers are care deeply about the youngs youngsters in their rooms. A common response from teachers when asked about gender in in equity in classrooms is that they treat all th all their students the same the same. There are two problems with this statement. First, students are diverse and have different learning issues. Those, treat, those treating all students in the same way means same way means the, the same students will have a better learning experience than their peers. Second, teachers may, may be ignoring their unconscious gender biases toward their students, their school, and themselves. If ignored, Gender biases, which may have developed from cultural, norm, cultural norms, may lead to bias in the classroom. Gender bias in dropouts. There is a gap in enrollment in school of girls students when compared to boys. The social barriers standing in the way of girls affecting schools, poverty, compulsions of their of their of older girls in families having to to look after the home and siblings, the conceptions of misconception that girls do not need education and or what is taught in school is relevant to them. Parents seeing limited economic benefits 
and education's daughters, lack of women's teachers, and separate schools of girls, of supportive facilities like educate and clean toilets in schools, and transport facilities to travel school and back. All of this inhibit parents from getting their girls enrolled. Girls have to stay at home once they attain puberty and must be protected till they, were, they are married. So naturally, the son is sent to the school, not the daughter, which we call it is the gender bias in school enrollment. The school alone cannot be blamed for this pity condition of enrollment. Gender bias in school in household responsibilities. The gender discrimination in school is an extension of what we think in the family, in society, and in the community in which we live. Unless there is camaraderie, dignity, and partnership among the members and within the family, it is difficult to expect the, the school to create artificially in the social environment and to pursue it without reference to what is happening in society. There, there has to be a democratic environment in the home for the children to be democratic in his or her lifestyle. Any programming or of gender discrimination eliminations in educational institution, institutions must take into confidence. The parents and guardians undoubted, and undoubtedly the teachers, both men or women for whom there are must be continuous programming orienting them to equality and thought and indeed. Male and female are two, two wings in the society. Develop, development of the society is not possible without the balance between them. Continuous neglect of one is the silent killer to another. Most of the parents do not give equal opportunity to their female child. Though, Equal opportunity to all is one of the fundamental rights. However, till now, females are not getting equal opportunity with the family. Therefore, there is the reason behind intra in, in a household gender discrimination. The reason is purely selfishness. <laughs>